Neuqua Valley High School is the site where four area track and field teams hope to qualify for state. Neuqua, Wabonzi, Naperville Central, and Naperville North in attendance. The Wildcats have the Seawalk brothers in the field. First, it's Anthony on the discus. 143 feet 5 inches will get him an 8th place finish. Taking first in the discus, setting a school record and qualifying for state is Tommy Seawalk. 173 feet 10 inches will send him to Charleston. At the shot put, Naperville North gets a solid performance from Jake Jegley. No state trip, but the Husky has the fifth best throw of the day. Tommy Seawalk looking to qualify in the shot put as well. Third place overall, but he ends up two inches shy of qualifying for the state meet. The school record was great, but shot put really wasn't as great. Like, just missed it by two inches. It's just a lot of mixed emotions. On to the 3,200 meter run. Neuqua Valley's Connor Horn and Scott Anderson projected to finish first and second. Early on, the duo right at the front of the pack, trailing Plainfield North's Jack Sabak. Late, it's Horn taking the lead. Anderson and Sabak right behind him, along with Oswego's Bennett Peterson. Horn goes on to win with a time of 9 minutes, 18.91 seconds. Both he and teammate Anderson will be headed to state. 110 meter hurdles, Wabonzi Valley's Tyler Kirkwood in lane four. He finished in third place in the event at last year's state meet. He qualifies again with the exact same time, 14.56 seconds for the Warrior Senior. Kirkwood looking to qualify in the 300 meter hurdles as well. Coming around the final bend, he falls behind Manuka's Justin Walls, but both will head to state. I felt the pressure of him on, on the back stretch when we started coming towards the end, so I tried to make a move and you know speed up with him, and I'm happy that happened. It feels pretty amazing to know that I was able to do both, both the events today, the events I did today, and I qualified, so that was pretty awesome. 400 meter dash, Naperville Central's Matthew Meyer with a seat time just over two tenths of a second off the state mark. Meyer misses the cut by six one hundredths of a second, but qualifies for state in the long jump. When I was a sophomore, I went down state in a couple of relays, so it was my goal this year to go down as an individual, and I did that with long jump and, you know, also in other relays. I'm just, you know, looking forward to, you know, competing next week at state and doing the best I can there. Neuqua Valley and Manuka dominating the sectional throughout the day. No surprise the two schools are the top seeds in the final event, the 4x4 relay. Wildcats with a lead early, but the Indians right on their heels. Down the final straightaway, it's Matt Glugopolsky just edging out Neuqua Valley's Jaquir Williams. Manuka takes the sectional title as Neuqua Valley finishes in second place. The reality is that we were just trying to put as many guys as we could in strong positions for the state meet. So our, our guys competed uh, really to the best of their ability and rose in so many places that really we didn't think we were going to be as close as Manuka as we really were. So, and to us, it wasn't, that wasn't what we were really chasing. We were really chasing next week at the state meet. 